Hey. This is Tanya Eby. I'm in the wet wilds of Michigan. Looking for Bigfoot. Bigfoot! Sasquatch! Sasquatch! Oh. No response yet, so... Maybe if I baked a cake... Hmm. This is Tanya Makes. I am super excited to make a Bigfoot bunt. Um, so, I just, I just love Bigfoot so much. If you follow me anywhere, you know that I'm kind of obsessed with him. And I don't know. I don't know why. Let me think about that. But what I have is I made a cake, chocolate cake, and I have a Bigfoot cookie cutter, and I'm going to cut out a bunch of Bigfoots, and then I'm going to put them in a bun, and I'm going to see if I can make Bigfoot emerge from the forest, which would be amazing. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to make the cutouts while I'm cutting these out. Um, oh, that looks pretty good. I'll tell you where I think my obsession started. And I'm pretty sure that it started when I was, um, I don't know, like 11 or 12 and there's nothing on TV and I was watching and um, I stumbled across this show with this very attractive man who was um, wearing a baseball cap and he had a mustache and a Hawaiian shirt and uh, short shorts. Never seen those before. And he had on tube socks and I just thought, man, he's something else, that Magnum PI. And he solved crimes, which, you know, very attractive. So I'm pretty sure that's where my love for Bigfoot started. Um, or maybe I just like hairy men. That could be a two. <laughs> so I'm just going to make a bunch of little Bigfoot feeted feet, big feet stuff and uh, see if I can make this work. I'm a little worried. Oh, that was hard work. Punching out big foot, big feet. What's, a, what's the plural of big foot? Big foots? Big feet, big foots. Hard work. Um, my first idea, my first thought while I'm doing this is I maybe should have made the big foot out of uh, brownie because uh, we got some missing legs, one with its head torn off. It's carnage, really. Okay, so I've got some green. I, I This was my own idea. I put green food coloring in there. Okay, so now comes the really hard part. I've got Bigfoot and, oh, he's really big. <laughs> So according to the picture, you're supposed to be able to layer your big foots, big feet in here, and that's supposed to work. Um, I can, I can, <laughs> I can already tell you that this is not, I don't know. The internet makes everything look easy and everyone's happy and well-adjusted. And I, I don't think that's right. I don't know. Good thing I'm trying this. I can tell you before you make it for someone's birthday and then they're crying. <laughs> I'm losing limbs. Oh my God, I'm losing so many limbs. All right, I'm gonna space this out a little bit more. This is fine, this is gonna be good, I think. I think this is gonna look just like the internet picture of the Bigfoot bunt. Okay, almost got it. Um, one thing I learned about being on uh, that show Nailed It oh, is that you just you just keep going. You just keep doing it. Okay, I'm going to put this cake over here. And then everything's going to... I'm pretty sure... Oh, no. <laughs> that this is going to work perfectly and it's going to be a delicious treat for your whole family. Um, and they will be in awe that when you... Eat the bunt. <laughs> yes, I <ate> the, <laughs> the secret Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Who will look um, remarkably like Magnum P.I. Tom Selleck. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Yep, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna give it 30 minutes and I'm sure it's going to transform. I have high hopes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm a little bit worried about what's happening, so I'm just gonna check and see how it's doing. Okay. I mean, it's cooking. That's progress. Well, it's out of the oven and looks good. Springy, which is good. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but that part's kind of crunchy. So I think I'm just gonna trim those parts. And then I'm gonna flip it over. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. This is super exciting. Um, it actually turned out okay, except for the funky color, but you have to imagine if you frosted it or put a glaze on it, then you wouldn't see that. So the real question is, are we going to find Bigfoot? <laughs> I'm so hopeful. Because <laughs> I have searched and searched for Bigfoot, and I don't know, I don't know. I can't, how do I get it out? Okay. Did we find Bigfoot? Did we? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Surely, Bigfoot must be in here somewhere. Like, nope. <laughs> oh, that looks, this one looks, it looks pretty good. Sorta? <laughs> what happened? Where's Bigfoot? Oh, now this, no. Yeah, so I guess it's really a metaphor for life and the endless quest for Bigfoot. That you can do everything right and you can search and search and search and think you found him, but he's not there yet. But maybe one day. Oh, maybe one day you'll find them. Or, you know, you can always tell your kids, like, there's a Bigfoot in there. And they're like, Mom, we didn't find Bigfoot. And you can say, I know, because life is hard. Happy birthday. <laughs> Damn. Smells good. Guess I'll taste it. Mm hmm. Tastes like cake. I'll keep looking. So Bigfoot, Sasquatch, I'm sorry that the cake didn't work out. Maybe I'll make you a meatloaf. Mm.